Australia's favourite quiz. Tonight, that tradition continues as we play Temptation Celebrity Family Ties. Hi there, I'm Ed Phillips. And I'm Lavinia Nixon. Well, on Friday night, Red Simons and his wife Ellie staged a battle royale with Bud Tingwell and daughter Virginia. Bud and his daughter couldn't resist the opportunity to buy a prize for their home viewer and Red and Ellie were lucky enough to get $25 from the Fame Game board. But the game still went down to the wire with Red and Ellie just hanging on to make it into tonight's final. Our family portrait of 18 is now down to just four. And tonight, two of them will take their place at the top of the family tree. So, let's get the game on. Welcome to the final of Temptation Celebrity Family Ties. Good day, everybody. Welcome to start of a brand new year. Good day. Good day. Hello, you at home? Here we go, our first Celebrity Grand Final. It started out with uh, all the home viewers winning prizes, cash, goodies, things in the gift shop off the Fame Game board. Tonight it's down to our two celebrities playing for two lucky people at home. In fact, we will reveal who they are a little bit later in the show. If it's you, fingers crossed, good luck. Chance to win the Volvo, it will go off tonight. Should we introduce them or have you got more to do? No, I think <laughs> let's see who's okay. battling it out for the, uh, the absolute title of Grand Celebrity Champion. Our first finalists started out as the series favourites but had to fight hard and rely on a little of Lady Luck to make it here tonight. Welcome back Red and Ellie Simon. G'day Red and Ellie, hello. Our second finalist proved the saying that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Same sense of humour, same smarts. Please welcome back mother and son team Ben and Shelley Dark. Shelley and Ben are back with the see you guys. I was reading your CV a little bit earlier, Ben. Apparently you were born on the side of a dam bank. That's not true, is it? Shelley, you were there? You were there. I beg your pardon? <laughs> no, I made it up. You know how you've got to make up really smart things, though, CV? <laughs> I had so nothing else to say, so I started with I was born on the bank of a dam, so no. So they liked you from then on. A little bit of embellishing goes a long way. It does. And you find yourself now in the grand final with your mum. Good luck to you both, guys. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Ed. Red and Ellie are in the hot seat as yes, well. Yes, how are you guys feeling? Um, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable because uh, I've actually worked out that uh, with Ben that uh, if we win, we'll, whoever wins, we'll... Ben and I are going together. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like plenty of deals have been done in the back parts of the stage. Let's get down to the nitty gritty, yeah, shall we? Give them some money. Questions. Twenty dollars starting money for y'all. Good luck. Very right. dodgy, these guys. Let's see who's the smartest of our celebrity family ties and jump it around one. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Which communication device is known in rhyming slang as the old dog and bone? Shelley and Ben. Fine. You're away. The final two. A person who takes back a gift after having bestowed it, Shelley and Ben. Indian giver? Yes, known as a what giver? Indian giver. What's the name of the moose that starred on a 60s cartoon show? Red and Ellie. Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle will do. Presto, you're off the mark. Now we've got the easy ones out of the way. Let's get into our first temptation sprint. 20 seconds set on the clock. It starts now. What vegetable starting with C is a dill? Shelley and Ben. Carrot. Cucumber. Which movie has the famous line, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn? Red and Ellie. Dom the wind. Yes. What is seven multiplied by eight? Shelley and Ben. Fifty-six. Yes. The dromedary is a camel with one hump or Shelley. One. Yes. Which Australian state capital is situated on Port Phillip Bay? Shelley and Ben. Adelaide, South Australia. We need it Melbourne. 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 Bugger Melbourne. You've travelled around the world, Melbourne, at the head of Port Phillip Bay. Well, there we have it. We've got a tied game, $30 a piece. Each of you has a chance to have a look inside our temptation vault. Let's open it up. Your home viewer could score maybe $5,000 cash. What I'm going to do is auction it off for $10. Go. Nine. Go eight. On, go on. Seven. Six dollars, five dollars, four, three, two dollars, one dollar, going, going, gone. Didn't want to do it for a dollar for your home viewer. All right, you guys. It's a big night. You guys want to win the big prizes. Here we go back to the questions. One dollar. Beginning with B, is which usually young employee in a hotel who runs errands? Shelly and Ben. Bell hop. A bell hop or bell boy gets you as the sole leaders now. Which citrus fruit is also a car that continually breaks down? Mm. Shelly and Ben. Mm. Lemon. You are good. <laughs> Working <laughs> well, mother and son. <laughs> For a first look at our famous faces, besides yours, obviously, who am I? 
Born the daughter of divorced actors in LA in 1975, as a child I dreamed of becoming a funeral director. I attended the Lee Strasberg Theatre Institute from age 11 and later Beverly Hills High School. My film debut was in 1982's Lookin' to Get Out, but my next role was 11 years later in Cyborg 2. After acting in Hackers, I married my co-star Johnny Lee Miller, whom I divorced in 99. Further film credits include Pushing Tin, The Bone Collector and Girl Interrupted. And for three years I was married to fellow actor Billy Bob Thornton. Shelley and Ben. Jodie Foster. Not Jodie Foster, the rest of the clues for you, Red and Ellie, if you want them. Long estranged from my father, John Voigt, whose surname I legally dropped. Yeah, no, 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 no. Red and Ellie. Angelina Jolie. That'll do, no, well done. No, no. Right. Angelina Jolie, perhaps. <laughs> the future Mrs. Pitt. Let's take a look at our brand new famous faces. They're standing in the wings with Lavinia. From Entertainment Tonight, it's Mark Steins getting tough with the toddlers, Joe Frost. From the Alice, Eric Thompson. Today's show's Tracy Grimshaw. He's on the cold case, Tom Barry. 1234, High Five and Charlie Delaney. From National 9 News, Mike Munro. Academy Award nominee, Naomi Watts, whose movie Stay is out now. And he gave away the million dollars last week. Tonight, Mummy Wants the Million with Eddie Maguire. Okay, guys, incidentally, you buzzed in and then nearly ate up your entire three seconds there while you were yapping yeah. away. So just be See, mindful doing the that. clock's ticking. Oh, always working. Take a pick, a crucial one in round one. Oh, I can't go past uh, Eddie McGuire. You couldn't, could you? I've had good times with him. The man with the millions. And the burglar. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. You get a choice right. of taking your $5 from your nearest competitor. It happens to be Shelly and Ben. Or yourself, we if you feel like We suggest you don't. Sorry. <laughs> Lockout would have been good. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly and Ben, $5 oh, off your score. You're back to 35 and it's a tight one as we see out round one. What are they, Ed? You lead by a question, Ben. Sit tight. We're back with all the excitement of round two right after this. A miracle is born every three seconds. But imagine the miracle of being born a millionaire. Tonight in a two-hour season finale. Mum's the word in a special millionaire event. It's a family affair. Good luck to all of you, ladies. As ten pregnant mums take to the hot seat, all hoping for more than a miracle. Can we find a million-dollar baby? 8.30 tonight on Night. Now I'm gonna be under the tree. I'm gonna be with you. You'll be with me. Find what you're looking for this Christmas at your Vodafone store. We've got all the latest mobiles, like the Nokia 1600 for only $129. Make the most of now. Visit your Vodafone store today. Don't miss this week's Christmas specials at Coles. Coles pork four quarter roast, four forty eight a kilo, and spend thirty dollars or more in one transaction on Coles beef pork or lamb roasts and collect three hundred flybys bonus points. Coles helping make Christmas special. Don't miss the safe. Oh, Shannon Knoll, the brand new album Lift. Here's an original fact. Hippos can hold their breath for five minutes. Here's another original fact. This premium original juice contains no concentrate, no added sugar and no preservatives. It's the original fruit juiced. There's nothing weird going down here. The newlyweds are back in town. But when two's company, three's a little awkward. The Alice, tonight on Nine. In a Monday, it's Temptation's grand final night, our celebrity family ties. Great first round, saw Shelley and Ben get burgled. They still lead the game, though, by a question. Here we go, into round two. Renowned for his impeccable phrasing and timing was which U.S. singer nicknamed Old Blue Eyes? Shelley Frank and Ben. Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. Just wait till I call out your name, guys, but you're right, and up to 40. As per the title of a 1996 film starring Mel Gibson, what's the sum of money demanded for the release of a Red and Ellie? Did you press that or did I? <laughs> <laughs> for the release of a hostage, we're looking for random there. Somebody twitching on the buzzer. Oh, dear, dear. Ransom was the answer we were after. The costume department, building on the Paramount lot in Hollywood, is named after which legendary... Red and Ellie. Edith Head. That is right. After which legendary designer? 
Good job, time after that little stumble from Red and Ellie. Mm -hmm. Shelly and Ben, you're in the driver's seat. Ten dollars clear, forty to spend. Let's go to Lavinia. This is clever. With this 26-inch LCD TV, there's no need for a big clunky DVD box sitting under the TV because it actually has a DVD player built into its side. Priced at $2,499, why not be tempted to buy up big for your viewer? For only $10, it's from LG Electronics. Oh, this is great. This is the go. I can see a lot of concentration and thinking going on from Shelley and Ben. Excellent. Shelley, Ben, interested? Good telly. <laughs> Instead of ten, what if we made it five dollars? Nice. You're going to have to throw a lot more popcorn at Liv than that. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, we'll chew up the time. <laughs> what about a thousand dollars, Kat? Not for not for ten thousand. All right, toss the whole box at me. Let's go. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'd love to, yes, but sorry. seventy grand car. Going once, twice. No sound. Understandable. $10,000, he wouldn't even do it. All right, you got the lead. Round two rolls on. Grand final night. Famous for its commitment to corporate responsibility is which UK cosmetics chain? Founded by Red and Ellie. The Body Shop. Yes, founded by Anita Roddick. Also subtitled Heart of a Nation was which 1983 Australian film about a famous horse? Red and Ellie. Farlet. We've got a tied game, guys. This might make things interesting. $15 into the grand final mix. Who am I for a pick of the board? Born in Prague in 1956, at age eight, I first played in a tournament of my chosen sport. Ranked number one in my country from 72 to 70, Red and Ellie. Martina Navratilova. Oh, good get from you, Ellie. You're right, superstar. Winner of 58 Grand Slam titles all up. Everyone's impressed, including your husband. Have a pick here. I'm going to stick with the Channel 9 uh, personalities and go with Mark Munro. Didn't think we had any Channel 9 personalities on the board. Gee, that's a good idea. What's Mike got? <laughs> $10. They're all Channel 9 personalities. They all are. Oh. We've got some new leaders here. It's a $10 game. More questions. Also the name of a fictional magical place in books by L. Frank Baum is what two-letter nickname? Red and Ellie. Oz. Oz. Yes, nickname for Australia. Coming 30 years after the original, the upcoming Rocky film will be the what number instalment? Shelley and Ben? Number six. And I think that's enough for now, don't you? <laughs> In 1926, at the age of 19, American Gertrude Eddeley became the first woman to swim which body of water? Shelley and Ben? English Channel. Great game, everybody. Just $5 off the lead. Let's hit the accelerator now. Another 20-second sprint round. Good luck. Time starts. Now, something beneficial is said to be just what who ordered? Shelley and Doctor. Ben. Yes, a loudmouth cartoon rooster is Foghorn who? Leg Shelley horn. and Ben. Leghorn. Yes, what synonym for counterfeit rhymes with take? Shelley and Ben. Shake. Fake. Which Australian pop star had the hit Born to Try? Red and Ellie. Dr. Goodrum. Yes, which of literature's three Bronte sisters names is last alphabetically? Locking you out there on the siren. Emily is the one we were looking for. Boy, it's a tight game. Red, you're just $5 ahead. Something to say? Emily. Yes. <laughs> It would have made you an even greater leader, but it's a $5 game. Shelley and Ben, just a question behind. That wraps up round two. Back to see who Red and Ellie are playing for as round three returns on Temptation right after this. And final edition of Temptation's Celebrity Family Ties. Red and Ellie, you had the lead by a question. Here's your home viewer with everything crossed at home cheering you on in the hope that they will win the Volvo. Good luck. Now, let's just jump into the next round of questions and good luck. Who's going to make their move? Awakened by a US H-bomb test in the Pacific, is which dinosaur like Red and Ellie? Mururoa Island has got nothing to do with it. it you're right there. <laughs> Let me finish the rest of the question. The dinosaur-like beast that made its first appearance in a 1954 Japanese film, Godzilla, we were <laughs> looking for. Winning gold in the medley relay at the Athens Olympics, Brooke Hansen also won silver in the 100 metres what? Shelley and Ben. Breaststroke. You are right. We've got a new leader. Wow. Hugh Jackman won a Tony for his performance in the lead role of which musical? Devise Red and Ellie. The Boy From Oz. Yes, we've got a tied game at $60 a piece. This is going to be interesting. You two teams of characters have a chance to purchase here when Lavinia says the low price 
Let's just try it anyway. <laughs> Let your viewer recharge their batteries and escape to an island in the sun. Queensland's, no, I'm joking. Queensland's Great Keville Island is fringed by 17 white sandy beaches, all linked with walking trails. For seven nights, your viewer and a friend will stay in a hillside villa with spectacular water views. With all breakfasts and flights, it's priced at $5,794. How can you not be tempted? For only $15, it's from McCure Resort, Great Keville Island, and it's a fabulous holiday. Scotty, I think it's might be our toughest sell yet. Okay. Ten dollars. Anyone jumping in just to Why grab it? Why don't you, just for fun, make it a dollar and ten grand for spending money? I'll tell you what I'll do. <laughs> we'll take it down to seven dollars. I'll make, I'll make it five dollars and I'll throw in a free shot at the Temptation Vault as well. Get another chance at that cash for your home viewer for the price of one question. What do you think? There's an offer. Yeah, right on. <laughs> Only gag. It's going once, twice. Yeah, right on. Oh, Only gag. gag. <laughs> it's gone. All right. You didn't want to... Boy, that is the best deal I've ever offered on this show. Here we go. More questions for round three. Deacon, Fisher, Barton, Chifley, Holt and Scullin. Red and Ellie. Australian Prime Minister. Possibly so, but they're all suburbs of which Australian city? Canberra, we were looking for. In 1931, US mobster Al Capone was sentenced to 11 years in prison for which crime? Shelley and Ben? Embezzlement. Oh, no. Income tax evasion we needed. Okay, don't smash things, Ben. Plenty of questions to come. In his second feature film, Eric Banner starred as which colourful? Red and Ellie. Chopper, Chopper Reed. Reed. Chopper Reed is right. Mark Brandon Reed gets you into the lead now. Here we go, the big one. This could be the game breaker. $25 in play. Who am I? Born in County Donegal, Ireland in 1961, several of my siblings and uncles played in the band Clannard, which I joined in 1980 as a keyboardist and backing singer. In 82, I left the band along with its manager, Nicky Ryan, to start a solo career. And with him, I recorded two instrumental songs, The Solar Wind and Miss Claire Remembers. In 1984, I wrote music for the movie The Frog Prince, and two years later, provided music for the TV documentary The Celts. This Red and Ellie. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Enya. Enya is right, Red. You went for the right one. Enya Brennan. The money is in play, the big dollars. Choose wisely, you guys. Which one is it? I can't tell you. <laughs> Just take a stab. Lavinia knows, though. Come on, get a coffee maker. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Charlie, yeah, Charlie. Okay. Charlie Delaney. From half, half five. Here she comes. I know, she's got oh, the wild card. <laughs> Good, that. Right, our next question. <laughs> now, Red and Ellie, you've got a choice. I don't know what Ben's doing. It's obviously I'm caffeine. I'm going to pick again. <laughs> the pick again. You get the choice of another pick or to keep the money for your poor old home viewer. I'm beginning a car. Naomi Watts. Naomi Watts, you're picking again. What has Watts got? They might be getting the car. $25. <laughs> Only a little bit of cash remains, Lavinia. Oh, Let's see where it was yeah. tonight. The $15 was behind Tom Barry. There we go. Great pick, Red and Ellie. Good work. You got a handy break. Are you going all the way in tonight's game? It's a $30 break. Shelley and Ben, there's still time. We've got the Fast Money Round next. Let's see if they can do it. It's back for the grand final Fast Money Round next. six nights it's come down to the final dash to the line Shelley and Ben we can finally take a look at your home viewer here they are on screen <laughs> fingers <laughs> crossed <laughs> here's a reflection of them in the telly <laughs> <laughs> still I've got 60 seconds worth of oh, questions look, we're not giving up you can still do it here we go let's set the clock for our dash to the line good luck everybody time starts now the ALP's federal president is which former quiz show legend Red and Ellie. Barry Jones. Yes. Which word can precede agent, base, fault and adapter? Red and Ellie. Double. Yes. Havati is what sort of food starting with... Red and Ellie. Sorry, chief. Yes. Which fellow member of ABBA was married to Frida? Red and Ellie. Benny. Yes. A freestyle aerials gold medalist at Salt Lake 2002 was Aussie. Red and Ellie. <laughs> uh, Alyssa Campbell. Are you on yes. drugs? In which specific <laughs> part of the body... In which specific part of the body does dentine form? Red and Ellie. Chief. Yes, based in both Britain and Australia is mining giant Rio Watt. 
Red and Ellie. Tinto. Yes. Which horse is the only three-time winner of the Melbourne Cup? Red and Ellie. Maccabi Diva. Yes. Which band had the recent hit Don't Funk With My Heart? Go, Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I love Ellie. The Black Eyed Peas. Here we go. How many R's are in the word overrun? Show me a game, Mum. <laughs> One. Oh, two. two. In which sport is there a shot called the cover drive? We need a cricket, Red and Ellie have won! <laughs> our grand champions for our Temptation Celebrity Family Pies in a fast money round. I don't think we'll ever see the lights off again. No, I don't think we'll see a contestant push someone else's buzzer. Did Ellie answer every question, including some that Ben buzzed in for her? <laughs> Unbelievable. Well played, guys. Such great work by the Simon family. Congratulations. Thank you. I've never won anything in my life. Well, ever. Can, no. you, no, can you imagine how much I'm going to suffer for this because she was so right? <laughs> Fantastic work. <laughs> Shelley and Ben, great work in the grand final. You'll be happy to know your home viewer does take away this terrific consolation prize. Let's check it out now. In a plane, on a train, camping, whenever, wherever, your viewer can enjoy a movie on the go with this portable DVD player. Featuring a 7-inch wide LCD screen and inbuilt stereo speakers, this temptation is $499 from LG Electronics. And to thank you for playing along tonight on Temptation, we've got these beautiful watches for all our celebrities. To thank our celebrities for being part of Temptation, they can choose between these men's or ladies' Maurice Lacroix watches. These elegant timepieces from the Miros collection feature a Swiss quartz movement, date display and a sapphire crystal face. Masterfully crafted from stainless steel, both watches have a linked bracelet band with gently rounded edges for exceptional comfort. Each tempting pair is from Maurice Lacroix. Congratulations, you guys. That was awesome. Well played to you. That was fantastic. You answered everything that came your way, even the ones that Ben was buzzing in for. I know, you. he was just gorgeous. Uh, look, I don't know. I, I'm in shock. Well, you're apparently married to the smartest celebrity in Australia, yet you showed the way. Red, you really are going to cop it all this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, you know why yeah. he's smart? Because he married me. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. get it. And you reckon you've never won anything in your life? Never won anything. Have a look at this. You've now won the trip to London. Red and Ellie will receive this incredible holiday to London. They'll stay seven nights in the heart of the city with panoramic views of Portman Square in five-star luxury at one of London's leading hotels with daily breakfasts. Flying in business class luxury and with non-stop viewing entertainment, you can lie back and relax in the comfy pod-like sleeper seats. What a way to fly. This well-deserved temptation is from Royal Brunei Airlines and Hyatt Regency London, the Churchill. Starting to sink in now. That is a great prize, guys. I got a nasty turn for a minute there. I thought we were going by bus, but then I saw the plane. <laughs> oh. Enjoy that holiday. Congratulations. Thank you. And also, how happy is your home viewer for yeah. watching you over these last six nights? They now are starting up their own brand new Volvo. Here it comes. One lucky home viewer will be the new owner of this award-winning XC90. This turbocharged all-wheel drive is powerful yet fuel efficient and meets the highest expectations of comfort, safety and driving pleasure. Generously styled with timeless Scandinavian design, this luxury seven-seater SUV is equipped with roll stability control and side curtain airbags in all three rows. This is an incredible home viewer temptation. It's valued at $69,950 plus on-road costs. Volvo for life. Great work you guys, that's for your home viewer. $70,000 worth of Volvo and you become our first Temptation Celebrity Champions. You also get this trophy. Without a doubt, Red and Ellie will go down in history as the smartest members of their family and now they have the silverware to prove it. Traditionally styled, this silver plated cup is one of the highest quality from White Hill Silver. How about that? That is going straight to the pool room at your place. Fantastic. One final test now, guys, a chance to add up to $100,000 in the winnings of your home viewer. Ellie, Red, who's it going to be? You've been on a roll. You want to do it? All right, pick I'll one of these go. five different sets of questions and let's go for it. I'll pick number one. Number one from you. All right, here it comes, 60 seconds, set on the clock. Cover yourself once again in a blaze of glory. Time starts now. Feeler and See the Sun are albums by Australian singer Pete Who. Murray. Correct. Federation Square is in the centre of which state capital? Melbourne. Correct. An abnormally swollen and knotted vein is termed what? Starting with V. Varicose. Astronaut Neil Armstrong famously said, that's one small step for man. 
and the largest step for mankind. One giant, one giant leap for mankind. Name one of the four colours of the Wiggles skivvies. Oh, purple. That'll do. Retiring next year as US Federal Reserve Chairman is Alan Hu. Greenspan. An eating disorder characterised by deliberate starvation is anorexia what? Nervosa. Correct. Which tennis player won this year's Wimbledon and US Open men's singles? Roger Federer. Yes. Which comic book character is Spider-Man's alter ego? Out of time, doesn't matter, Peter Parker, we're after $2,000 extra for your home viewer. Great work, we were aiming for the $100,000, we got $2,000 there. Well played tonight, guys. Alan Greenspan, I thought you had, I thought you had a commerce degree. Do you know what? On your night's work tonight as grand finalist, taking away the trophy and everything, you're leaving your home viewer with a grand total of $72,000. The celebration's in full swing. Well done, Ellie. You want to say hello to your kids at home? We'd love to say hello to Samuel, Raphael and Joel. We love oh, you. And your mum and dad were fantastic. Join us tomorrow night. Tommy Carroll returns, not and the surfer, Brian. our carryover champion, who was our champ from last Friday week. He's we're playing for a lounge suite. And we're over. back to normal quizzing tomorrow. I know. $14,500 worth of lounge suite at stake. We'll see you same time tomorrow night and we'll tempt you again. Bye Good for night. now. Brave Isabella.